Okay, so I am starting my video blog. Um, some people already know that I've done a lot of videos on the Facebook with like my sister and like pretty much like everything I did in New York so far. Like my sister came to New York and we did the whole New Year's Eve Times Square weekend thing. But um, I have like a new Twitter account which is linked to this so like I can do both and have a new blog and everything. So yeah, my Twitter is asherms21 so if you want to follow me on there I'll probably give updates on new videos and stuff like that. Um, but I think the new video that I wanted to do was about um, pretty much the wrap up, the aftermath of what me and my sister went through in um, Times Square. Um, and I don't know, like my last my last post, you'll see all of them on Facebook if you just go to my Facebook, um, I'll leave like a link or whatever. Um, if obviously if you're friends with me, you'll see it already. You probably like watch some of them, but um, yeah, my hair's really not working out. I have these like yeah. The first thing you notice is like my my picture does not match my hair because I got my hair cut like a couple weeks ago, and I asked them to give me bangs. So I haven't quite conquered the bangs just yet. But um, so my my afterthoughts on New Year's Eve. Well, come to find out. Um, we didn't see nearly as much as what was broadcast, and I guess that's what we were expecting to see, like all that stuff on the screens and stuff. Um, I don't know. I feel like we really got gypped. Like we really, like we really just got gypped. Um, like we didn't see. We were near a big screen, so I was hoping that we, because the big screen was right in the viewing area of the ball drop, right? Like we could see it, but then the big screen was in the friggin' way, so we couldn't see anything. So I was hoping during the ball drop they would do the countdown with the ball drop you know, descending and all that jazz. No, we got nothing but like, you know, the numbers flashing up on the screen and that was it. So it's kind of disturbing. I was like, okay, I kind of pissed, but yeah, like, got to make the best of your situation, you know, whatever. So, um, I don't know, my sister recorded, she DVR'd the, the New Year's Eve thing. So like she went home, watched the whole thing and we didn't see nearly as much as everyone else did, which I guess, I mean, what we were expecting, I guess, but I don't know, it just, I said in my last post, like, oh, after it was midnight, I said, oh, you, I would do it again, you know, with your loved one, this and that, but now thinking about it, it's like, if you really want a good spot, you have to be there at, like, 9 o'clock in the morning, and you have to sit there all day, but if you sit in this one spot all day, you can't move, you can't, um, like, you can't, you can't move from this spot, which means almost ab absolutely what it means, it's like, you can't use the bathroom anywhere else. Like, if you stay there for, like, so many hours in a day, but you, there's no, like, you know, they don't let you out back in and forth. So, like, once it's filled, it's filled, it's done. You can't use the bathroom, you can't get food, you have to stay in that spot, and you can't bring a book bag. But, like, what me and my sister experienced is that, like, you know, the book bag, no one checked for that. Like, no one checked for any drugs or alcohol or anything like that. So, like, nothing was checked. So, I think, I don't know, I think the whole thing's just BS. I think if you can have, if you're going to go to New York for, you know, New Year's Eve, then... Do a private party, go to a bar or something, and just watch the ball drop on the TV. Like, I don't, like, um, my boyfriend slash fiance, he said he wanted to do New York and Times Square, but I'm like, F that, I don't think I want to do that again. Like, I was there for, from like, seven, well, we started going from six, and then we got there at seven, so I was there for five hours, and even that was just like, standing in just one spot, it's like, I mean, I know I do a lot of standing for my job, but it's like, I don't really want to stand on my stand for that many hours in one spot without being able to move, so F that. Um, in other, I guess, comments, um, I noticed in my uh, other video, like, video blog um, that I posted on Facebook, because I swear a lot, and I apologize if anyone's offended by my foul mouth, but um, I am going to try and keep it a little bit more clean, I guess. I don't know if that's, you know, less fun or whatever, but um, I'm going to try not as, to swear, not, you know, not as much. When I'm with my sister, it's like, my sister is like, obviously she's my only sister, so I'm very comfortable around her, obviously being myself and fuck this, fuck that, blah, 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 F this, F that comes out all the time. <laughs> so I have a really bad habit. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and break them, but I don't think it's going to work. Probably not. Um, so everyone who watched my stuff on Facebook has an idea of how this is going to run. Like, I'll probably do a lot of stuff from here, my bedroom. Um, 
oh, yeah, by the way, like, this is gonna pretty much be, like, anything I choose to put on, really. Um, like, I have, I guess it's good to kind of document this, because this is a really big transition for me, since I'm not doing ships anymore. And if anyone has questions about ship life, and whoever wants, I don't know, some people are, like, really intrigued by that, because it's, like, a life unknown. Like, no one ever knows about it, so if, if you had any questions about that, that's cool. Um, why I quit that job, and whatever else. Like, oh, it was a really good video gig, this and that, but, I mean, to me, it's kind of like not real life whatever but um the transition i'm making is now to um back on land um getting a land job paying rent again um paying for food again um that's a really big thing here like getting used to paying for food because on the ship you don't have to pay for food it's just there obviously which is big luxury i think now looking back like wow i had it that good like i didn't have to you know pay for food and pay for rent so and that's a big chunk of what living expenses are on land obviously um but yeah, if, if this this whole transition to New York, like I, I moved here because of the whole film thing and whatever, like, um, sorry, my hair is like just pissing me off, sorry. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, I moved here for the whole film thing and um, obviously in Buffalo, I'm not going to get that much work, um, consistent work, so I really didn't want to do like a side job and and whatever else to kind of, oh, I'm going to be the starving artist. But turns out that's what I'm doing now in New York. Like right now I'm working at Cafe Bene, which as a barista, which I loved bartending. So I wanted to try, you know, being a barista, which I totally love. <laughs> like I really am proud of being a barista. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so good at being a barista. Oh my God, I can make the best coffee in the world. <laughs> like, and I mean, they have some really, really good coffee. Like their beans are really like roast well and we're all about like fresh and do everything it's just amazing like i really like that job and there's a lot of room for growth because the company is from um korea they're starting a new they're tr they're really trying to com compete with starbucks which i know is a major thing um people are like oh my god starbucks you can't compete with them they're like you know you know they have like eight thousand stores everywhere they have like 20 alone in times square <laughs> like in that radius so um I don't know, I really like, I'm getting, like, I work freelance for Newscast, um, so I have a lot of different things going on, and I have, like, the internship, which, if you do, if you did re read my blog, then you'll know, um, that I listed all that briefly, and what it entails, and stuff like that, and I know it sounds like a lot, like, I have the internship, I have the freelance thing, and I have the barista job, but, like, the barista job's kind of flexible, so if I get freelance work, I can always just say, hey, I need to stay off, whatever, like, I'm, um, I have a production meeting on Wednesday because they changed it. It was supposed to be tomorrow, but it's it's Wednesday now. So I'm slowly gaining the network that I need for all of this. Um, the network is a really big thing with film work. Like if you don't know anybody, then you're it's gonna be really hard to get jobs. And yeah, that's kind of sad. It's like the whole oh, it's not what you know, it's who you know. But it's who you know that gets you in the door, and that's what you know that keeps you you know you know in the door. I guess you would say so. Um, I guess that was my first first one for this uh, video blog, so if anyone has any questions or whatever, this is pretty much going to be like my life in a nutshell, and my birthday is coming up, so there will be probably some interesting videos coming up for my birthday. Um, there are a few people who got invites, uh, obviously, like, I can't make it a big giant thing. I'm not really into the big parties, like, I really, I really hate my birthday, but this time I'm trying to really, like... Oh my god, I'm gonna love my birthday this year, and I'm not telling anybody how old I am because F that. <laughs> uh, so I, I guess that's it for now.